Extending Your Classroom with Doctopus. When you learn to deploy your G Class folders, you also learned a way that a student would access worksheets that you put in the View Only folder, open them, click on File and make a copy, move that file to their assignment folder, and then rename the file so that it's named properly, shared with the teacher, but the student now has the ability to edit. There's an easier way to do this, G Class with Doctopus. In the G Class Hub, there's the Autocrat, the Doctopus, and the PageMeister scripts. With Doctopus, you can push out these worksheets, eliminating those previous steps to copy a view only and move to the folders for quicker access by the student. In addition to that, you get the ability to email grades and feedback through this one spreadsheet. So using the G Class Hub, it will identify what classes you have and you'll be able to push documents out to those individual assignment folders. This is the view only folder. So it's a good place to put your view only documents where students could go ahead and open them and save them. And also a good place to store the worksheets or templates that you want to push out as well. So start out with the document that you want to push out to each individual folder. Then open your G Class folder spreadsheet, click on G Class folders, and then select Get G Class Hub URL. Click the link and select the class or classes you want. Once you've done this, click on Launch to launch the Doctopus menu. You can now name the spreadsheet. So I'm pushing out uh, quarter one's research starter, so that's what I'm going to call it, and I'm going to create a new Doctopus spreadsheet. Once it's been created, just click on Success, take me to it. Once you're in the spreadsheet, you'll need to launch the script. So click on Doctopus and choose Launch Installation. You'll be prompted to run the script, so simply click OK. You'll need to accept the permissions so by clicking Accept, and then go back, click on Doctopus, and launch the installation one last time. This will prompt you to step one, setting up sharing basics, where you'll need to select a sharing type. You'll need to add email addresses of any teacher you want to give edit rights to, and then also uh, add to the individual folders. In this example, we're pushing out a template that each individual student will have edit access to, an individual, all the same access. We don't have anything set up in our spreadsheet to give different students different access. So remember, you're going to select individual, all the same. You select individual, all the same, creates the same separate individual doc for each student in your class. The whole class gets no access and individuals get edit access. There are other options here as well if you're making worksheets for different purposes. Editors cannot change permissions is automatically checked. Email addresses may be added if you need to add a teaching assistant or a co-teacher. And make sure my students have individual folders is checked so that assignment will go into that folder and click on save settings. You'll need to select the folder where the original document is. In this case, I had put it in my computer literacy view folder, and I'm sending out the research starter worksheet. Then save settings. At this point in step three, I can have it create a folder that's auto named Doctopus assignment for today's date, or I can name the folder where a copy of all the documents will be held. Here I can select how I want the file named. So if I copy and paste this field, the dollar sign student last name, it will individually name the document their last name plus anything I add here at the end. I can send an email to the student 
by checking this box, Notify Document Editors immediately upon sharing and resharing. I can add a subject and a note and then save my settings. After reviewing the settings and determining that you're ready to go, just click on Run, Copy, and Share. All the documents were successfully shared. Click OK. Now you have the ability to do easy and paperless formative assessment. In the spreadsheet, you have a link to each individual's worksheet. So as they're working on it, you can add comments, you can review, you can assess to see how they're doing. When they're finished, you can assign a grade and even enter written feedback. To send the grade and feedback, just click on Doctopus and choose Select uh, Send Personal Emails to Students. They'll receive an email with their grade and the feedback that you've entered. There may be times where you want to temporarily or finally remove edit access so that you can assess or give a break um, in a project. To do this, just click on Doctopus and choose Embargo for grading, set editors to view only. This will take away the edit access for each student. You can also unembargo and give that access back. Thank you again to Andrew Stillman and Bjorn for all the hard work you've done creating the G-Class folders in Andrew's Doctopus script. We'll show you how to utilize some of the other scripts in later tutorials.